You cannot reconcile creativeness with technical achievement. You may be perfect in playing the piano, not be creative. You may play the piano most brilliantly and not be a musician. You may be able to handle color, to put paint on a canvas most cleverly and not be a creative painter. You may create a face, an image out of a stone, because you have learned the technique and not be a master creator. Creation comes first, not technique. And that is why we are miserable all our lives. We have technique, how to put up a house, how to build a bridge, how to assemble a motor, how to educate our children through a system. We have learned all these techniques but our hearts and minds are empty. We are first-class machines. We know how to operate most beautifully, but we do not love a living thing. You may be a good engineer. You may be a pianist. You may write in a good style in English or Marathi or whatever your language is. But creativeness is not found through technique. If you have something to say, you create your own style. But when you have nothing to say, even if you have a beautiful style, but you write, it's only the traditional routine, a repetition in new words of the same old thing. So, having lost the song, we pursue the singer. We learn from the singer the technique of the song, but there is no song. And I say the song is essential. The joy of singing is essential. When the joy is there, the technique can be built up from nothing. You will invent your own technique. You won't have to study location or style. When you have, you see, and the very scene of beauty. Is an art. <laughs>